What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about some things that you're not supposed to do while you're in school after hearing these horrible horror stories of guys that's been to school and saw people get fired. Um, I completely forgot about this because it's been so long ago, but I, after I started reading these stories, I was like, yeah, I probably need to make a video on this so that way I can keep you guys from losing your job. So when you are offered a job with Norfolk Southern, I don't know if CSX does this. I'm going to talk about strictly NS, but I would imagine CSX probably does something the same. Whenever you go to training with Norfolk Southern, Norfolk Southern pays for your lodging, right? So your hotels. Um, that is considered Norfolk Southern's property. So you're on their property with the railroad whenever you're inside of your hotel. Where people make mistakes is alcohol is not allowed on railroad property. So you can't have alcohol on the locomotive or the engine. You can't have alcohol within your room. Um, you also cannot go out and drink. You can go drink outside of your hotel, but you cannot return back drunk, okay? And you're probably going to say, well, Joey, how do they even know if, if I'm drinking inside my room? The NS officials will go through your rooms in those hotels, I promise you. While you're at school, they will go check into your rooms and look and see. Now, they're not going to go through your bags, but they will look in the garbage cans. Uh, they also talk with the maids that do room service. So you've got to understand... You've got to be extremely careful. Um, I understand it's probably a little getaway for everybody whenever you know you get away from your, your family or your little hometown or wherever for three weeks. But if you're going to drink, go out somewhere and drink and stay there until you're sober. Because I'm telling you, if you come back and you're acting belligerent or just acting goofy, the people on the front desk will call NS and tell them. Uh, they'll pull the videos. And if you're acting crazy or they, can, they have enough reason or suspicion, they will fire you. If they find alcohol in your room, you are fired. If you come into a hotel drunk, you are fired. Uh, they will sit outside in the parking lot and wait. I've told this story a few times. Well, we had a group of guys in a certain town that we used to travel to. Next door to our hotel, we had, a, a, I think it was Applebee's. One dollar PBR nights. They went over to Applebee's, had a bunch of beers, got tore up, went back in the hotel room, and went to bed. Um, sadly, they were drunk on on railroad property so they were all put out of service and had to go to investigation I don't know if anything happened of that but that's the kind of crap that these officials do so you have to watch out for it you have to protect yourself don't give them any reason to mess with you at least while you're in school once you get outside of school blah blah, blah. you know so I have somebody ask me about females inside your room uh, do what you want to you know that's I mean I don't think there's anything saying that there you can't have a female inside your room so if you wanna if you wanna find a girl and take her back, great, whatever. But as far as alcohol, obviously you're not gonna be doing drugs if you're working for the railroad. If you are, just go ahead and pack up your stuff and leave. But alcohol, they they will fire you for alcohol. Do not drink inside your room. Do not take drinks inside your room. Do not go to the gas station and buy a beer and take it back to your room. If you're gonna drink, go to the restaurant and drink, eat, wait till you're sober, come back in, go straight to your room, and go to bed. Don't even mention it. Don't even act. Don't say anything. Don't do nothing. Because I'm telling you, they will fire you in a heartbeat. And they do pay attention to everything you're doing. Just want to give you guys a heads up that these Norfolk Southern officials, I don't even know if these guys are trained masters at the school. I don't think they are. I think some of them used to be. But now it's just, you know, they hold people to these crazy standards, but yet they don't hold themselves to any kind of standard. Definitely management. You know, there's there's no accountability in management. Just like, but they hold everybody on the ground for accountable. That and that's just a, a common problem that I've seen company wide. Not only the railroad industry, every company I've ever worked for, it's always been like that. And uh, I've got a hard time coping with all that, but that's just the way it is. Hope you guys are doing good. Good luck to everybody going to school today. That started school today. Uh, if y'all have any questions, please don't hesitate. Reach out to me if you have any questions. I'll do the best I can. Thanks to everybody stopping by the live streams. Uh, donate money. Y'all are too kind and. Uh, I'm just going to give y'all guys a heads up uh, on, the, on the live streams. If you come into the live streams uh, talking about NS officials and other railroad officials, uh, if y'all start my live stream, I want y'all to understand that these officials are watching my videos and they are watching my live streams. Um, I'm not stupid. I know they are. And, and they're more than welcome to watch me because anything that I mention about these rail industries, I can back up whatever I say. But for you guys, the ones that are employed by these railroads, be extremely careful what you say in my live stream. Alright, so I'm just going to give y'all a heads up on that one also. I'll see you guys on the next video Wednesday. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like to, and then uh, we will see you on the next video Wednesday at 1pm. Bye!